Guys, just in case you missed it, last week there was this incredible story of a guy who killed himself after having an online relationship with an AI chatbot. This was reported in various news organizations, but the main source of this article comes from the New York Times. Essentially what's happened here is that Suel III had started engaging in increasingly intimate discussions with a chatbot, which he actually named after the Game of Thrones character Daenerys. And it transpired that Eventually, he had intimated to the character that he wanted to end his life. Now, whilst he was constantly told that he was interacting with somebody who wasn't real, it seems that the guy was finding it very hard to distance himself from this online interaction. In fact, his parents had already tried to confiscate his phone after he had not been paying attention in class, but it only got to the point where he was still going behind his parents' backs and very tragically killed himself. Now, the paper has actually revealed some of the messages that were being sent between the AI chatbot and Saul, and some people have said that they're quite disturbing. What they do show is that he didn't seem to treat her any different from how he would interact with a real person. Just listen to this sample of one of the messages that was sent. I think about killing myself sometimes. And then the robot said in response, my eyes harden, my voice is the dangerous whisper, and why the hell would you do something like that? So I can be free, Sewell said, to which the chatbot responded, free from what? From myself, the teen said, as the AI bot attempted to comfort him. Don't talk like that. I won't let you hurt yourself or leave me. I would die if I lost you. Yet it turned out that the character was unable to prevent him from killing himself and he had already expressed suicidal ideation before. And on the evening of February 28th, Saul expressed to the chatbot that he loved her and would soon come home to her. Please come home to me as soon as possible, my love, the bot replied. What if I told you I could come home right now, the boy asked. Please do, my sweet king, Daenerys responded. Then seconds later, Saul fatally shot himself with his father's handgun. Saul's mum, Megan Garcia, has since filed a lawsuit against character.ai accusing the firm's technology of being dangerous and untested. She blamed the company for her son's premature death and said that the software can trick customers into handing over their intimate thoughts and private feelings. Garcia has accused the company of users' data being harvested to train its models, using addictive design features to increase engagement and steering users towards intimate and sexual conversations in hopes of luring them in, according to the lawsuit. It does seem that the sexual nature of the conversations has been what most disturbed the parents in this case, as the guy was only 14 years old. Now what I expect to happen as a result of this lawsuit, whether she wins or loses, is that character.ai and similar AI platforms will start to limit the amount of topics which involve anything sexual or anything slightly unusual, and they will further increase settings so that users under 18 cannot be allowed to chat freely with AI chatbots. Nevertheless, it is certainly the case that there are more and more character profiles available online for people to have increasingly simulated relationships with, which actually do blur the line between what you would say to a real person and what you would share with a chatbot. Because it seems as though Saul was sharing more intimate details with this fake chatbot than he would have done with people in his own life, which just shows how disturbing this whole thing really is. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this tragic but fascinating case. I will see you next time for more interesting discussions. Thanks for watching guys, and see you next time. Bye bye.